Undia con la Grua. You'll find out what that is. Of course, we're in Mexico. And here Chris is playing in the mud. Actually, this is special mud with bentonite. It's cleaning out the cuttings that's created by here, the process of drilling. That's the pipe and the machine. It's an ongoing process to take these cuttings out. You have to keep trying to clear your water so that uh, you're using fresh, so to speak, water that's circulating down, pulling out that which you're cutting and, pull and trying to attempt to cut through. So Chris is going through the process here of actually changing out pipe. He's going to add pipe. You can see it's all hydraulic and easy to actually for one person to do this process. This is grease. It helps to take apart the tool joints, as they're called, the couplings. You can see we're out in a pasture. See those cows in the background? We're real close to a very full running creek that runs all year round. So we know there's lots of water in this area. So we're not going to be drilling very deep. But we were actually drilling a 10 inch hole, which is the largest that we've attempted and probably may have caused some of the problems we ran into. But fits the coupling together and they screw up tight. You pull out the actually the slip and bowl as it's called and that's what actually holds one side of the tool joint so that they can be unthreaded. Turning the water back on We'll flush out the hole again with all the cuttings and on goes the process. Well during this process when we hit about 18 meters we actually broke the pipe. Um, pretty unusual but so now I'm making different gadgets, gizmos, anything I can to try to hook the end of the pipe and pull it up out of the hole. This process went on for weeks and I made many, many dozens and dozens of attempts. This one obviously failed and got twisted. Actually, that one right there is the one that finally succeeded. And we used it two, three, four times before it actually did. And we tried everything else. We tried to screw things into it. Um, we tried to wrap things around it. We tried to hook it. Uh, this is when the actual, there was another part of uh, fishing tool as we call them down there that got stuck. And this is the boneyard of materials and wasted things and things I stole from to try to make anything and everything that would actually connect to uh, a pipe. These are actually tool joint couplings that I made to hold the couplings together so they wouldn't unscrew when we were back uh, trying to back the pipe out out of their threads. I mean, it worked very well, but it was super hard. What's happening here is, well, we called in the first tow truck. Because we actually did finally hook the pipe, and here he is going to chain up. And this is the tow truck driver. That's going to chain up or we've hooked up to the pipe down below. First attempt, as you can see, it didn't go well. And this was after several weeks of trying. So what do you do? You call in a second tow truck a couple weeks later. Much bigger. 
This thing's a giant. And we again, uh, as I said, that one hook is the thing we actually finally got connected, but we're still not feeling very good, but we were running out of time. Well, we were pretty excited when we got movement and it held. But as you can see, we didn't go too fast. It was a very slow, methodical. It took us hours. I think we spent four or five hours just moving at this speed, pulling up uh, 10 meters of pipe, which is like 35 feet or 40 feet of pipe. But we were so happy to after get some success after so much failure. Here we're just uh, now starting to take apart the pipe and you can see those couplings that uh, we have to unscrew and I'll toss one to Chris here. They were actually threaded right through the pipe to hold them together because everything was working in reverse which you usually don't have to do when you're drilling. You're always going forward. That is the success story right there. So you can see the end of the coupling and that little hook <laughs> caught the end. And we actually then got the process started of actually pulling up pipe. Yep, <laughs> I kissed the pipe. I was pretty excited. <laughs> after so much effort but unfortunately it wasn't the end of the story